Hey songwriters, welcome back to another video here at At Home Songwriting. So glad that you can join me. I'm Chad Shank, and today I'm answering a viewer's question about the importance of counting syllables. I've had a couple of emails from people asking, are syllables all created equal? And how important is counting syllables when I'm writing my songs? I think a lot of us have run into some issues by just counting the syllables and not really realizing that there's more than one kind of syllable. So in this video, we're going to talk about how you can properly count syllables and make your lyrics work better with your melodies. So let's go. So how important is counting syllables? Well, syllables are the smallest part of any word. So they kind of fit with notes within your melody. So where the importance of syllables comes in is when you're trying to match melodic and rhythmic patterns between your lyrics and your melody. I get a lot of questions about how do I fit my melody to the lyrics or how do I fit the lyrics to the melody and what it comes down to is how the syllables are working and we'll talk more about this as we go along. As I just mentioned, syllables are the smallest part of your lyrics. So syllables are the building blocks that make up words. And then words go together to make phrases and lines. And then phrases add up to a section, and then a section adds up to be your whole song. So syllables are kind of the smallest building block that you can have within your lyric. And your lyrics have a lot of information that transfers over to your melody. And not all syllables are created equal. There are two types of syllable. The first is a stressed syllable or an accented syllable. And the second is an unstressed or not accented syllable. Language uses stresses and unstressed syllables to make it easier to understand and make the rhythm of speech and the rhythm of language flow so it's easier for our minds to remember and process what people are saying. So we speak in rhythms that our minds recognize as communication. So we're going to talk about the difference between stressed and unstressed. Syllables are really the lyrical equivalent of notes within a melody. And syllables line up to notes that are in your melodies. In melody, some notes hold more strength or more accent, and some notes are not as strong. So does that sound familiar? It's the same with your lyrics. So there's syllables that are not as strong, and then there's stronger syllables. So this is where your lyric and melody meet. And only counting syllables, if you're just counting the total number of syllables, you're missing out on the, the patterns and on how the setting is of stressed and unstressed syllables. So stressed syllables should fall on a stronger beat. And in 4-4 time, the strongest beats are the 1, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. So the 1 is the strongest. The next strongest is the 3, followed by the 2 and the 4. So setting unstressed syllables on strong beats causes the words to sound unnatural and not as believable. So if you're just counting the total number of syllables you and you're not matching those stress patterns, your lines will not sit in your melody correctly. And your lines won't match. And sometimes they'll even sound wonky as you're singing them. And when your lines sound wonky, your listener is more prone to tune out because it doesn't sound believable because that's not how people communicate and it's not how people talk. So let's look at two lines that have the same exact number of syllables. So we have, I don't want you to leave. So that's six syllables. We also have, stay with me one more night. That's also six syllables. But if you look at the stressed and unstressed syllable patterns, you will see that these lines are not created equal. So the, the I don't want you to leave, I don't want you to leave, I don't want you to leave, is not the same as 
stay with me one more night. Stay with me one more night. If you look at the unstressed syllables, the das, they're in a different place than the stressed syllables, the dums. So if you were matching your first verse to the second verse and you were counting your six syllables, you would be like, cool, well, I match the syllables. That's going to sound the same. Well, no, because if you stressed the same pattern in the first line as the second, it would be stay with me one more night. Stay with me one more night instead of stay with me one more night. So it becomes very important to check your patterns. So how do you determine what's a stress syllable and what's not? Well, the quickest way to do it is to actually use a dictionary. And the unfortunate thing is online dictionaries a lot of times are not showing you the correct stressed pattern. So you may have to go old school and actually use a Re, uh, hard copy or old school, whatever you want to call it, dictionary, an actual book to figure this out. Also, many times pronouns, prepositions, you know, like I, you, to, with, those words are not going to be stressed because they don't hold a lot of meaning within the line. So the the things that are stressed most of the time are nouns, verbs, adjectives, and adverbs. And then some words have more than one syllable, and that's where the dictionary comes in handy to really see what are the stress syllables. And the thing about stress syllables is you want to have the stressed syllables falling on the strong beats of your measure. Because those have more importance, and subconsciously your listener will pick up on the importance of those beats, and you want to make sure important words are falling on those beats. So like I had done with that example before, if we use the I don't want to leave, or I don't want you to leave, stay. it would be stay with me one more night. Stay with me one more night. It doesn't sound natural. So you want it, you want to make sure that you are paying attention to the natural shape of the language and not just counting syllables, but paying attention to the pattern of the stressed syllables. This gets a little complicated, it gets a little heady, but if you want a good book that shows you how to do it, there's a couple of them, and they're both by Pat Patterson. Pat Patterson, Writing Better Lyrics, and then he also has a guide to lyric, song, uh, lyric structure and form. Both of those show a lot of this information and can help you write better songs because you won't be putting the wrong emphasis on the wrong syllable. So hopefully this is helpful. This is just a really an introduction to this concept. I'm going to have more videos on how you can fit your lyric to a melody coming up. I'm working on it. It's in the works. So you got to subscribe to the channel and um, watch some of the other videos about lyrics and things as well. But so to answer the question that got sent in to me, and if you want to have your questions answered, put them in the comments or shoot me a message. Um, but the question was, how important is it to count syllables? Well, it's important to match the stressed patterns, not just count the syllables. Because as you can see with these two lines, just because they have the same total number of syllables doesn't mean the pattern is the same. So thanks for watching. I'm Chad Shank with At Home Songwriting. If you want to learn more about songwriting, make sure you subscribe and like this video. It helps other people find it. And then also look at the description. There's a link to my monthly meetup meetings where you can attend free online songwriting workshops by Zoom right from your home. That's why it's called At Home Songwriting. So thanks again and head to the next video.